Hello, my name is Andrea and thank you for joining me on my channel and I welcome you to the Babe Cave today. And today is a tag video that I was tagged by Eva from Fuchsia Floyd and I believe Julie from Agent Bag Reviews initially did this video and I was tagged by Eva. And the tag is how do these bags or brands make how do they make you feel and I had to think a lot about it because they all make me feel happy <laughs> I mean I am a handbag lover and so the happiness has to be there or they go out of my collection and so I broke down into some categories for this video of how I dug deeper. <laughs> so I'm going to start out with my vintage Dooney and Burke bags and my vintage coach bag. I want, I want more vintage coach, but I have not found the right one yet. For, for the vintage coach, I have the beautiful British tan top handle Willis bag and the leather, I know you've probably heard it time and time again if you watch these YouTube channels that it is a great quality, thick, beautiful leather. I mean, this one is about pristine condition. I feel like these vintage bags make me feel like I'm unique a little bit in that I've got a piece from history and they are beautiful and have aged like fine wine. And that's how I want to age. <laughs> so first up is the Top Handle Willis and then just like Coach, Dooney and Burks, all weather leather beautiful pebbled grain again I feel like one they age really well now not all of them are in the condition that you would get when they were new but I'm not new and I've aged and I've grown I've got some scars I mean who cares this is a classic bag and it just f makes me feel like I would want to feel in a bag and that's classic and timeless I mean I don't know how old this bag is but I'm sure it's over 20 years old beautiful condition yeah the hardware is a little rusty but I think that adds character to these vintage Dooney bags and then one more to show was is the, my beautiful equestrian bag and this one is also near perfect condition so they the quality just elevates these vintage bags to me and you can find a lot of vintage Dooney and coach on the secondhand market some are beat up worse than others but sometimes just like as a human we have our flaws, if you will, or a little ding here and there, and I'm not being discarded, so they shouldn't either. So I feel like they're just timeless, beautiful, unique leathers and condition that make me happy. <laughs> now I want to talk about Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton is a brand that I wanted for 20 plus years. I felt like that was the high-end, top-notch bags to have. And I always wanted them, um, you know, I always wanted to have a Speedy. And I feel lucky to actually have a, a Speedy and some other Louis Vuitton pieces in my collection because not everyone can get them not everyone can afford them I just feel like these are not basic to me it's it makes me feel like more appreciative of the Louis Vuitton bags I have so I feel special and I have you know 
a few Louis Vuitton pieces now. So I also like their vintage bags because they're more affordable. Even though affordable is a higher price tag than some can afford or want to pay. So I just feel like having this on my shoulder, I just feel good. It, it's one of those things like I've grown up, I've finally grown up and got a Louis Vuitton bag. It just, this, this one right here is like a big boss lady bag. You know, it has your front magnets. It's that east-west shape has the zipper, it has the nice shoulder drop. Yeah, I just feel like with any Louis Vuitton bag I own, I feel lucky, I feel special, and it elevates anything that I wear. The next brand would be Dooney & Burke, and I have tried their pebbled leather, their Florentine leather, and I haven't tried any of the other leathers yet or nylon. But the thing I like about Dooney is I believe that their quality, their leathers they choose, the Florentine bags have the plated gold hardware. I feel like the just the sheer quality that you get every time you get a Dooney and Burke bag. I mean, at least for me. To me... Uh, they make me feel like I want to dress up and look nice and be presentable and they're just very great quality. And like I these satchels that I continually talk about because I don't wear them that much because this is the big size. But man, you feel like a boss babe when you have this giant Dooney and Burke bag and this satchel. This hardware, this leather, you just feel like this looks so good on your arm. And <laughs> you feel like you've stepped up your wardrobe and the quality by just adding a Dooney and Burke bag. You've, you've changed your attitude. You feel like I'm going to conquer the world with this bag. <laughs> That's how I feel about the satchels anyway. <laughs> And then there's this crossbody pouch that I can't believe I wear so much because it's so casual. I'm not worried about the leather. I They made it a det detachable strap, which I wish all bags kind of did that. <laughs> and, you know, when I wear this, it's just a fun, carefree day. I mean, I don't really have to worry about it. I'm not really dressed up for any occasion. I just feel comfy and casual. And so Dooney and Burke has elevated styles down to just every day. Wear it and feel good. Know the qualities there and it just holds up. There's longevity for Dooney and Burks. And I feel like that is something that you can't get with all the brands out there. Some of them, the quality has gone down the bigger the company gets. Some prices have gone up, but yet the quality isn't quite there. Dooney has not failed me in any of that. So I come to know that I'm going to get a good quality product in my hands, packaged well, and that's how it makes me feel, like I'm all put together, ready to go. <laughs> Finally, I could not leave out my coach bags because that is a majority of my collection is coach. Coach has had me from my 20s to now. They have the best collaborations with artists, with superstars like J-Lo. I like that they step outside the box and not everything's going to look the same. And it makes me feel like, you know, it pulls out the creativity side of me. Um, like this Mint and Surf Morgan. Like, this is an art piece to me. And that graffiti print. I love this bag. <laughs> 
And I like to that this makes me feel like you can take a chance and you can conquer it and you can create. You know, it's helped me create in this YouTube universe. I feel creative when I have a very artsy looking bag like this coach bag. I feel like, you know, you can take chances <laughs> just like they did with this Tom Wesselman piece. This is the Rogue 25 beautiful glove tan leather giant lips on the bag. I mean, they take chances and it makes you feel like you got this. If you're going on a interview for some kind of marketing or advertising, because that was my original degree. My degree is in advertising. I like to be creative and sometimes these bags just make me feel like I can just put on my creative pants and and draw away. <laughs> I just think that coach knows how to pull in hit their clients either by the prints they do or by the leathers they use. They have been around for so long. They know what they're doing. They know how to get the younger crowd and they also know how to get the older crowd that ha are used to fantastic quality. They just bring so much joy to me. <laughs> That's why I buy Coach time and time again. But I wanted to, this one is probably me in a bag because <laughs> it's so carefree and easy and bright. And it's the Soho, which is of course in style right now. It's shoulder bag. It's not fussy. It's magnetic. Just enough room for what I need in it. This puts a smile on my face by just throwing it on my shoulder and going pick up my daughter. So the ease of some of their bags and the hardware is silver. Coach has all the feels for me because I've collected coach bags for a really long time and they just keep upping the game, upping their bags. The tabbies are the craze, the denim, you know, soft tabby that I have. it I have returned to that bag so many times because it is so good. You know, they give you strap options. <laughs> they just know how to market, they know how to design, and I will forever probably buy coach bags because it makes me feel like they are paying attention to their customers and what they want and what the trend is. I feel like they are top notch on their marketing. <laughs> so anyway, those are my feels for these brands or vintage and I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little windy but that's how these brands and bags make me feel and I would love to hear your your thoughts on any bag brands or bags that give you the feels of a certain way of elevation, of quality, of just power. <laughs> and uh, maybe they don't do any of those for you but they just make you happy which is fine too, happy and they're user friendly, you know? That's kind of the key. They're for everyday items that you have to haul around and you wanna be comfortable, that's cool too. But thanks Eva for tagging me in this video. I will link Julie's video and Eva's video down below. And don't forget to hit the like if you like this video and subscribe to my channel, it's free. And if you want and you know someone that's a bag lover, share my channel. That would be fabulous. But until next time, I will talk to you all soon. Bye.